Have you ever tried lamb chops? You gotta try these. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on another episode of Cutting Up With Bay. Today we're going to make some lamb chops, some mashed sweet potatoes, and some broccolini. So I'm going to start off by cleaning my lamb chops up just a little bit, hitting them with a little bit of water and lemon. Now while I'm cleaning this, make sure you guys hit that like button and smash that subscription button as well. Now I'm going to start cutting my rack of lamb into chops. A lot of people ask me, what does lamb chops taste like? And to be honest, they remind me of steak. Lamb chops are delicious in my opinion. They're quick and easy to cook. They're flavorful. And it really reminds me of a tiny steak. It is a lot more expensive. However, it's definitely worth it if you want to treat yourself every once in a while. So I hit this with some Chef Bay seasoning salt. And you can also season these with some salt, uh, pepper, maybe a little garlic powder, and a little onion powder. And you'll be good to go with that. Now, I just like to rub my seasonings into the meat, even on the bones. No, I'm not eating the bones, but still, I just like making sure everything is thoroughly seasoned. So now I'm going to pour in just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And I have a lemon here. And I'm going to take that lemon and just squeeze some fresh lemon juice over my lamb chops. And I'm gonna mix these up a little bit more. And now we're going to cook these. I have my skillet on medium high heat. Remember, we cook these like steaks. So you want a nice hot pan so you can get some color on your chops. I'm also gonna add some garlic and rosemary to the pan. I'm not gonna chop it up. I'm gonna throw it in whole, just like this. And it smells so good in here. And I promise you guys, once you try lamb chops, you will be addicted because they're nice and they're juicy. And these little four chops will not be enough for my husband. But thank God, I have a few other chops to the side. So if he needs seconds, I got him. But they're so good. You go look up and bend an eight, six of these bad boys. And you still go be wanting some more. So now I'm gonna flip these over. They're looking good, they're smelling good. I have absolutely no complaints. So we're gonna let these cook. While they're cooking, I need you guys to smash that like button for me so I can keep cranking out these videos for you guys. And if you go to my website, which is cuttingupwithbay.com, I want you guys to use promo code YouTube. Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. And go ahead, get your $10 off your Chef Bay silicone set. It's 11 pieces. It's all the tools that you need to flip, uh, whisk, you name it. And you can get all the details on my website. But also check out my seasonings as well. I have them on sale as well as some cookbooks. So... As you can see here, I have some sweet potatoes, or you may call them yams, and I boil them until they're tender. And as you can see, the skin peeled off really easily. So now that I have the skin peeled, I'm going to take my potato masher, and I'm gonna mash these. And this looks like a really good consistency for me. So I'm going to throw in some butter. 
I'm also going to throw in some cinnamon. I have some nutmeg I'm going to sprinkle in. A little bit of maple syrup. I'm going to add some brown sugar to this. I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of Chef Bay pink Himalayan salt. A pinch or two of black pepper. And I'm going to hit this with a little bit of heavy whipping cream. That's really the secret for this. And I'm going to mix everything up. And honey, when I tell you these mashed sweet potatoes are delicious, trust me, I mean it. And I think you guys are really going to like this recipe as well. So this is the perfect time to get you a little spoon and try this and make sure you don't need any more sugar. You don't need any more, you know, cinnamon, any more nutmeg. Just make sure it's to your liking. And for me, it's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead, get me some herbs so I can sprinkle on top. I have some thyme here, some thyme leaves, and I'm just breaking these little bits off and sprinkling them over top. And sweet potatoes are a good alternative to potatoes. I know that, you know, once you load it up with butter and sugar, it takes away any, you know, healthy components, but it's still a good substitution if you're tired of regular potatoes. And now I'm going to cook this broccolini. I'm going to start by preparing it. Broccolini is basically like baby broccoli. It's a little more tender than the bigger bulk of broccoli that you see in the grocery store. So if you've never tried it, I definitely recommend it. I love eating it with salmon, um, baked chicken, fish, uh, seafood, anything really, even steak. So I'm prepping these, they're looking good. I'm gonna throw my little stems and leaves away. Nobody likes them. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and melt some butter. We're going to basically do something really simple, but really delicious with this. So now that I have my butter melted, I'm going to put in a little bit of freshly chopped garlic. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice over this as well. And I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of pink salt and a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning. And you can find all these seasonings that I'm using on my website, which is www.cuttingupwithbay.com. I'll also leave the link to my website in the description with the recipe so you can easily access it. And make sure we're connected on social media also. I'm on Instagram at Cutting Up With Bay, And I have another Instagram page. It's Chef Bay underscore. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely on TikTok. So make sure you add me on there as well at Cutting Up With Bay. So this is my favorite part. I love plating the food. Plating the food is so fun for me because it's like an artist having a blank canvas and the food essentially is like paint. So you're placing this food where you think it goes so that way you can paint a pretty picture. And that's what I really love about cooking and being artistic because you can just really have full control over everything. And not only does this smell amazing, but in my opinion, it looks really good as well. And I wish you guys were here to try it, but since you're not, I'll leave the recipe in the description below so you can try it when you got some time and make sure you guys come back and let me know how you like the recipe. So we have lamb chops over mashed sweet potatoes and we have some broccolini with garlic and a little bit of lemon pepper. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. And I'll chat with you guys soon. Bye. And now I'm going to.